Deep down, we're all just good people. Come on, I know you've heard this before. And chances are some of you who are watching this probably believe this about yourselves. Well, I'm here to say nothing could be further from the truth. So before you tune out, hang with me here and I'll try to unpack it for you. I was raised in the left coast, west coast world where this was a mantra over and over again. You know, follow your heart, your heart's good. Deep down, we're all just good people. And if you believe that, you would have had a real struggle the last few years trying to make sense of the world. And the decisions you would have taken would be uh, explainable in the sense that if you agreed with everything that the doctors did or you agreed with everything the pharmaceutical companies did or you agreed with the you know the uh, LGBTQ movement or all of those things you would have done so because you believe that deep down people are just good people and they had your best intentions at heart because you believe that about yourself okay so let me challenge that notion for you up until about 11 years ago I like I said believed the same thing and it wasn't until I came to an understanding of who Jesus is and who the Bible says I am that my mind changed. You see, in the Bible, it says that our hearts are wicked above all things, that out of our hearts pour all kinds of wickedness like murder, lust, greed, envy, hatred, you name it. It all comes from our hearts. These wonderful things that all of you believe are make us just so wonderfully amazing. And once I came to that understanding and as I got to unpack it further and further, it made sense of the world for me, especially the last few years. I could see why doctors didn't take a stand. Well, why wouldn't they? Their heart is driven by their own self-interest. They're motivated in looking after themselves. I could see why pharmaceutical companies or people who headed them would have no issue in you know, uh, putting forth a untested product perhaps, because really, it was all about making money for themselves. I could see why politicians would lie. Well, why wouldn't they? It's about their self-interest. Their hearts are like that. Now, of course, if I only ascribe that wickedness and evil to them, I would be thinking that I'm the only righteous one left. Well, that's exactly what the other side believes. You ask anybody who's a groomer or a teacher that is pushing this ideology today, they'll believe, they believe they're the good people and the other side, people like myself, are the evil ones who disagree with them. So all of it boils down to the fact that until we all recognize the brokenness that's within us, that we recognize the evil that's in our own hearts, can we effectively push forth or make a change? You see, for me, God held up this mirror and said, look, look at how wicked and evil you are. But the good news is that if you're a Christian and you follow Jesus, he didn't leave you there. He was your savior. And through that process, he works in me daily. And again, like I said, doesn't leave me in my misery. But if I'm someone who is not following Jesus, I don't believe in any of that. I'm an atheist or I'm a secularist, whatever, a humanist. When I look at that mirror, all I see is the beauty of myself. All I see is my greatness. Now, if I truly believe this, well, why would I think that my viewpoints are wrong? My, if given how beautiful and wonderful I am, these viewpoints have to be correct. And all of those who oppose me are the ones that are wrong. You see, it's that self-recognition that the gospel brings to you that awakens you to all of the stuff that goes on. And that's why I'm never surprised anymore. All the actions that people take are not surprising because the Bible tells me that's who they are. And I'm not surprised because I'm like that too. And it's only by the grace of God that I realize I'm, uh, you know, who I am and I'm not prideful of it. I'm not celebrating my arrogance or my ignorance or my intolerance or my, you know, whatever worldview that I'm espousing or pushing. It's that humility God brings to me and that humility that's sadly lacking in our world today that if everybody possessed it, my, it would be a different world. And we would realize that we're, we could finally achieve that deep down, we're all good people kind of world we wish for and idealize. Anyway, I hope this has made some sense to you. If not, hey, share your comments. I'm always happy to hear them. Uh, you can also follow me on my Rumble on my Locals account. If you haven't yet subscribed to my channel, please do so. And check out some of my other videos and I'll see you next time.